Tonight, football is now 5-2 and, and in second place after a huge 40-16 win over their divisional opponent, the Marlboro Panthers. The full recap of the game in moments. Girls soccer hits the field one last time tonight as they honor their seniors. Volleyball gets set for their final game in their Dig Pink Plus Senior Night. Field hockey is down to two games this year. Cross country has a championship meet and golf has finished their year. Boys soccer also ended their season Friday night and the Patriots stunned the Bills. From Shepherd Hill Regional High School, this is Shepherd Hill Sports Zone with Cameron Simpson. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Shepherd Hill Sports Zone. Thanks for being with us on this Monday. Hopefully you had a great weekend. And hopefully you had a good start to your week. On Friday night, all eyes were on our Rams and they delivered big time. It was a huge 40 to 16 win. It started with a 27 yard run by Talon McDonald. Then they handed the ball to Drew Aubin for a 19 yard run as the Rams began to push into the red zone and they would eventually score and convert the two point conversion. The Rams would get scored on and tie the game up at 8-8 eight eight that next drive. That would not last long though. Josh Harrison takes the ball to the end zone to give the Rams the lead, but the Panthers would still hold on, tying the Rams at 16. Aiden Tyler ran for 16 yards on the next drive, then would hand the ball to Talon McDonald for the 5-yard touchdown run. Then it was the Rams' def defense who started to shine. William Servleith with a huge sack to stop the Panthers' defense. And take a look at this. Josh Harrison, 64-yard touchdown run, which would give the Rams a dominating lead. Josh Harrison, Drew Aubin, and Talon McDonald were the three offensive beasts in the game. Combined, they had 239 of the team's 299 yards. The Rams are now in second place in the division behind Westboro. A non-league game for the Rams against Grafton next week, but still a ton of importance as the Rams hold their position in second, and we, they are trying to make the playoffs a win next week. Gives them that one inch closer to that. We'll have a full preview on the game for you Friday night, and all eyes will be on football these next few weeks. Girls soccer is down to one more game, one final game for six seniors who will play on the home turf one more time. The opponent tonight is Fitchburg. They're 3-12-1 on the year. The Rams are 4-10-3. The game is fairly even and should be a good final outing for the Rams. Head up to the hill and go support the Rams. They play in around about 30 minutes. And one final congratulations to the seniors on the team. Best of luck tonight to the soccer team as they have one last game. The volleyball team is getting ready for its pink out and senior night. But first, the Rams played Keneff Technical High School on Friday and won their second game in a row, three, in, three sets to two. Tomorrow, they play the 8-9 and nine Bristol Pimp Plymouth team, who the Rams beat a few weeks ago. This is the final game of volleyball season. It's Dig Pink and Senior Night. They will support breast cancer awareness during Dig Pink wearing their pink uniforms. They will also honor their senior... Chloe Graves. Congratulations to her. And they hope to get the win to end their year. They hope to end the season 9 and 11. The game starts tomorrow at 6 in the gym. Be there to support the team. Field hockey fell to Auburn Friday night, 4 to nothing. Earlier today, they played Tintasco. We don't have the score at this time. And Wednesday, the team will wrap up its season on the road versus Quabog who is 8-5-1. That game starts at 3.30. Uh, quickly tonight, Cross Country has a meet this weekend after last weekend off. After they had last weekend off, this is a mid-watch aid championship race. That will kick off on Saturday. With the fall seasons coming to a close, today opens up registration of winter athletics. Make sure you get your sign-ins in quickly, because sign-ups will close the 15th of November. So don't wait to register. What sports are being offered this winter? Girls and boys basketball. You got wrestling for both the girls and boys. Winter co-ed cheerleading. Girls and boys indoor track. And with a co-op through Auburn, girls and boys ice hockey. Mr. Scalen sent out an email to your inbox. Take a look. And you'll be able to find out all the information you need about the winter sports, where to sign up, and how to get it done. Any questions, send him an email. And we'll continue reporting this uh, throughout 
as we get set for the winter season, which is just around the corner. And golf wrapped up their season last week and finished the year 3-13. and In national sports, the Patriots stunned the Bills with a 29-25 win. The Patriots offense had one of their best games of the season as the team upset their divisional opponent. The Patriots are now 2-5 and five with the Dolphins next week in Miami. And of course, the Bills had a couple tough weeks and lost again to the Patriots. The boys' soccer team wrapped up their season last Friday. They lost to West Springfield. And on Friday, we'll begin our series, our new segment of the show, called Season Recap. We'll look at every single team and how their season went, talk to some coaches, talk to some players, and recap all the seasons. Our first team that will be featured is the boys' soccer team. We'll go right down the list of all the four fall sports as they're all wrapping up. And then, of course, we have winter sports on the way as well. So we'll have that all for you. Thanks for watching this Monday night. I'm Cameron Simpson. We'll see you Friday. Have a great week. Good night. Thanks for watching Shepherd Hill Sports Zone, the only place for Ram Sports News.